not be seen. What? Guess the Krabbies won't screw with us now. Not after what I did to their warship. Don't get cocky, Crypto. There's still at least one loose end left to tie up. You may have destroyed the Blisk base, but we still don't have Millencom. Hey, Pa, you seen the blonde babushka? She's supposed to meet me here. No, I haven't. As a matter of fact, you haven't even properly introduced us. Yeah, well, I'm trying to impress her. Oh, relax. I have more pressing matters than torpedoing your grand designs. Actually, I was hoping she could help us track down Millenkov. Perhaps she's with Agent Sergei. You know her, always working. She's probably just looking for leads on Millencom. Quite possibly. She is most efficient. Perhaps Agent Sergei is helping her. <sighs> she better not be, man. I have had it with that smug jerk off. Look at me. I'm so handsome, I'm so smart, I read poetry, I wrestle bears. Regardless, you should probably find Natalia. She may even need your assistance. Yeah, 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 I'm going. Good. Snoop around. Somebody must have seen her. Uda chi, comrade. We'll be heading over to KGB base soon to catch glimpse of traitor they were catching. Perhaps I will be selected for firing squad this time. I wonder who will be being chosen to be interrogating traitor locked up at KGB base. Oh, I'm hoping it's me. Comrade. Dr. Orlov, just the cat I wanted to see. I see the KGB caught up with you, Doc. What do you think they'll do to you now? I expect either torture me or give me to Blisk for doing with as they are pleasing. Perhaps you could be helping me out of here, Da? Love to, Doc, but I gotta find that first. I'll swing back by if I get a chance. You haven't seen a hot blonde cheek around here, have you? Name's Natalia. I did! Alien creature was taking pretty woman up to alien base! Oh, she is tough cookie! Was putting up quite a struggle! If they hurt a hair on her sexy little head, I'm gonna boil every last one of them! Well, they are only passing by a short time ago. If you hurry, you might catch them. Uh, when finished, perhaps you could be rescuing me as well? I'll just wait.
KGB agents were just talking about taking a track to female to so-called alien base. What is being with that? All right, Blisk, this is gonna get messy. And wouldn't you know it, I'm all out of lobster bibs. You use protection, uh, or don't they teach sex ed in the young pioneers? Kakaya Nenisa! I am not talking about STDs! He's been infected with alien spores! Indeed, he has Lapushka, and I'm afraid Penny's healing won't do the trick. Hello, Cryptosporidium. Millencar. Uh, sorry to rain on your Communist Party, but uh, in case you haven't noticed, your little base looks like Keith Moon redecorated. You've lost. Such bluster, such arrogance. You're beginning to sound like real American. Soon you'll be wearing cowboy hat and speaking in monosyllables. Says you. The truth is, this base means nothing. At this very moment, we are preparing to initiate the final phase of Operation Solaris from our ultra-secret main facility on the moon. It's the ultimate fruition of the Stalinist ideal. What a shame. Neither of you will be there to see it. Goodbye, Lapushka Moya. Do svedanya, Kratos Peridium. Keep your kakashnik on, dollface. You think I'm flying to the moon without you? Crypto, you should be able to kill those nerves on the organic gas line. And stop them from pumping gas into the chamber! Hurry! Natalia is running out of air! Hi, Pinto! The air's getting a little thick in here! That's the last mistake you'll ever make! Hurry up, Spaceman. The air quality is seriously deteriorating in here.
Crypto, you should be able to kill those nerves on the organic gas line. And stop them from pumping gas into the chamber! Hurry! Natalia is running out of air! Look, it, it sucks that Melinkov got away, but I couldn't let you, you know. I know, Crypto, and thank you. But we still have to stop Melinkov, and he's halfway to the moon by now. Ugh, what are we going to do? Have saucer will travel. I was wondering when you'd ask. Your saucer can take both of us all the way to the moon? You kidding? I've done so many mods on that baby, she'll give you everything but the happy ending.
killed by anyone. Thank you. 
nice of you to join me. Give me the scoop, Dollface. What do we know about this Blisk base? Not much, other than it seems to be the main Blisk stronghold. It contains their hive, and the weapon they plan to use to destroy Earth. And that's bad. See? See how I'm really getting this spy stuff, huh? Tell me about the hive. I'm guessing it ain't filled with honey. Yet. The hive contains all the Blisk spores, hundreds of thousands of them. And the spores feed voraciously on radioactive materials. Radiation. Why did it have to be radiation? Okay, what do we know about this Blisk weapon? It's an organic spore shooter, and it too needs radiation to charge itself. Gee! And off with the radiation! My nads are shriveling like crazy! Okay, Sexy, what's the plan? We must find a way to prevent the proliferation of the Blisk spores. Our intel shows the spores derive energy from massive radiation. We need to cut off their radiation supply so we can slow them down. Radiation. Why does it always have to be radiation? <sighs> oh. So how do they get their radiation supply? Their lunar rovers deliver radioactive materials from the mine to the base. I want you to follow one of the rovers to the mining site. Is that all? I thought it was gonna be something hard. You got it, babe. Position. How'd you figure all that out? I sent off the catalog. The point is, that explains how the Blisk are fueling their lunar operation. Eureka! Uranium. Exactly. Our objective is clear. Undermine those miners. You mean, kill them? Yes. Miners in the cave. 
more. If you can stop it, you'll have cut off the Blisk's energy supply. Now get out there and cancel that delivery! Chit chat. Let's get down to brass tacks. All right, Pox. I need some serious intel on Moonbase Solaris. Right. Moonbase Solaris consists of two primary areas the Blisk Base and the Cosmonaut Base. Like two lobes of the same twisted mind. Okay, what about the cosmonauts? Well, they're just humans, of course. Albeit the cream of Soviet citizenry. They think their leaders here represent some sort of shadowy Kremlin cabal. Of course, the Blisk have been playing them like puppets. Not that they realize it. They're so proud. If they knew how the Blisk were using them, they'd be furious! Okay, what do we know about the Blisk? Aside from their ugly concern. They are indeed a most repulsive race, and incredibly vicious. Further, they treat their workers very badly and have offensively short tempers. Any resemblance to present company is completely coincidental. <laughs> 
Sounds to me like we need to send the cosmonauts a little wake-up call. Not a bad idea. A crowd seems to be assembling in the cosmonaut base. Why don't you check it out? I think it's time the puppets met their masters, hmm? Okay, I got it. Turn the cosmonauts against the Blisk. This is gonna be fun. to fix, busted generator to repair, and blisk waste receptacles to empty. And now I am having to waste... Go to cosmonaut base, they are saying. Listen to speech, they are saying. All your grievances will be being addressed, they are saying. You know what I am saying? Tunstaffel, there is not being any such thing as a free lunch! Children of the Glorious Workers' Revolution! Be getting lost! We are waiting to hear from Comrade Cosmonaut Leonid! Faithful Commander Leonid is always being at Herb Garden and Biodome before a big speech. I am wondering why. He must be loving smell of rosemary. Party leaders say all workers are being equal, but I am working in disgusting mines while mighty Commander Leonid is spending all day in Biodome Herb Garden. Oh, politicians, I spit on them! Ugh, disgusting fumes from mining site are making me sick as dog, despite fact there's no air on moon. I need to spend... Faithful Commander Leonid is always being at Herb Garden and Biodome. Ugh, disgusting fumes. Faithful Commander Leonid is always being at Herb Garden and Biodome. Party leaders say all workers are being equal. But I... Faithful Commander Leonid is always being at Herb Garden and Biodome before a big speech. I am wondering why. You must be lo... Goddamn Blisk Mudaks! I never worked so hard and... Oh! God, how am I going to face them all? They're fed up with this place, and I can't claim them. They sold up principles to chase them. Them giant space crabs for Mars. I see all this cliche in the books. Oh, I am not fit to be a Soviet hero. Oh. Wow, he's nothing but rocks and dust. I could have lost him. Thank you. 
Ah, good day, comrades. Comrade cosmonaut Leonid, why we have to work in such long hours at hard labor? Good question. The Blisk have you guys working way too hard. And you know what? It's time we did something about it. Who's with me? Ugh, Leonid is right. Bliskoviks have taken advantage of our good natures. Hmm. But Leonid, why we have to leave in beloved country and coming to this hellhole? Da, is being worse than Verkhoyansk in February. That's what I'm saying. No air, no chicks. This place sucks, and it's all the Blisk's fault. It's true. Leonid is saying what we're all thinking. Hmm. But Leonid, why we are never seeing beloved Premier Milinkov anymore? Da, he used to be flying up frequently for surprise holiday photo ops. Da, mission accomplished. <laughs> that was being good one. Milenkov? He's kind of busy. You know, partying in the Mediterranean. On his 50-foot yacht. With the Dallas Cowpoke Cheerleaders. Dallas Cowpoke Cheerleaders? You're yanking with my chain. While we are being stuck in unisex moon base? Pistons! Hmm. But comrade, why we are not being allowed in the area northeast of here? Da, what are you having to hide? Because Milenkov thinks you're too drunk and stupid to go over there without getting lost, that's why. Drunk? Okay. But stupid? Why, that sopa! Ah, we can no longer be trusting Premier Milenkov. Oh, it ain't just Milenkov, kids. The Blisk think you're a bunch of morons, too. Bliskoviks also? Uh, but they are always telling us Soviet Union will be ruling world. Dalian, it. What evidence you are having to mistrust Bliskoviks? Evidence? They're controlling your minds! I am thinking Comrade Cosmonaut Leonid is drinking too much Revelade. They've taken over your entire government! Comrade Leonid is perhaps watching too much American television. They're giant freaking lobsters from outer freaking space! We are seeing long-term psychological effects of space travel. Poor Leonid. They're taking away your vodka! Oh, this... this is being outrage. Anything else can be endured if we are having vodka. Ah, without vodka, Russia would have been democracy 200 years ago. This will not be standing! There is being no such thing as free lunch, Bliskoviks! Yeah! Give me vodka or give me death! Da! Yeah! So what does this mean for the Bliskoviks? Bad news for the Bliskoviks! That's the spirit! Now get out there, find the Blisk, and kill them crabbies dead! For what go?
implements with which to work the very rock of this tiny world. I am so impressed. Not! Smash their monstrous contraptions!
There being more of them! I'm working on a major hangover here. Tell me again why we're here at Moonbase Solaris. I'm astonished, Crypto. Need I remind you of the plans of the Blisk? Uh, yeah. That's kind of my point. If we don't stop them, they'll launch their mysterious weapon at Earth! Unleashing Arkfoodle knows what hell on all our virgin Furon DNA! Oh. Those plans, right, right, gotcha. 